welcome to the cafe, you know man. Welcome to our reaction to Eden Bridge. We are going to react to the song on sacred ground. This is our first time reaction to on sacred ground. Let's get started. Requested by our patron Kai.
beautiful, beautifully done by the singer of Edinburgh. Oh, it's like a one woman show here. Hey, I like so the music all, too. It's yeah. all about her for me. Okay. Later on, the guitarist kicked in and did a pretty decent job. But honestly, it's all about her. The way she hits those high notes, wow. Here, she truly displayed her range, a powerful range as a vocalist. Oh, she is outstanding in this. One of the best vocalists I've heard in a long time. This song. The other songs, okay, they were good. But this one was outstanding. I can't think of too many female vocalists who could pull this off the way she did. Now I'm, uh, once I was lost, now I'm found, now I've seen the light, etc. Reminded me a lot of Amazing Grace, you know, the way the lyrics went. It had a strong spiritual vibe, a holy vibe to say the least. Mm. And definitely it had a mixture of a few songs I've heard in church and over the years, especially during my childhood years. So yeah, I mean, it, it was good. It was really good. But they were. this singer of Edinburgh deserves an award. And we listen to so many bands from the US and UK, may, mostly male fronted bands. And obviously you come from countries where female are dominated, oppressed, and one in four females is physically abused many times in a lifetime, not just once, raped and molested too. Obviously, when you have a refreshing voice such as the one we heard today, it definitely, you know, more power to women. As simple as that. When you have so many women doing an outstanding job, automatically the men will be scared to harm them. So yeah, we need more women singers in music uh, and powerful ones, mm -hmm. not weaklings and who are so dependent on a man that they are willing to take away their eyesight and kill themselves and all that or kill the man. All that is just, I mean, vengeful, vengeful, weak stuff. So, yeah, I mean, if you have a voice like hers, great, great. So, yeah, I'm all for uh, bands who have female voices like that. Uh, musically, it was okay. It was okay. Will I ever listen to this song again? Purely, only for the vocalist. For me, only for the vocalist, nothing else. In fact, when it went a cappella towards the end, that is what I like to listen to. I would rather have all the music stripped away and listen to this wonderful, angelic, but powerful voice of this singer of Edinburgh. Amazing. Outstanding job for the singer in this one. And uh, yeah, if there are more such songs, I would definitely enjoy them and uh, definitely consider investing some more time in Edinburgh personally, off camera, listening to them, that is. For me, I like the way the music started. Uh, it was, uh, for me, getting what I asked for. The earlier song that we reacted to, Cent Centennial Legend, in that I, I was, you know, talking about how the music is not supporting the singer as much as they should. But here, everything else was also in place and everything else was also with the theme. Uh, they were all in, uh, at their A game, uh, at least for this song. And the way it started, I liked it. I liked the, you know, natural sound, windy sound that they, that was given to the song. And then from there on, it changes and, you know, goes into different directions. But I liked the sound of the flute-like sound that they had created. I think that could be done on the keyboard. Uh, slowly, it dissipated uh, in the song. I wish it did and it continued because it had a nice sound, you know, a distant sound of the flute to it. And it was playing on and on while she was singing. So I was also paying more attention to what the sound of the flute was going like. It had the same pattern that was being repeated, but it sounded very good. It was more like a cuckoo singing or something like that. There is a song in, uh, you know, uh, from Hindi movies. Koel Siteri Boli. And then he says cuckoo cuckoo. So the way that flute was played, it was like, it was saying something like that. I, you know, I connected with uh, different music from here and that is why I was paying more attention to that sound that was playing in the distance. Slowly they removed it out and then it continued with everything else. This one is a good song. I can I can imagine myself listening to it on any day. It's that kind of a complete song with music, with the, you know, vocals uh, good and uh, uh, with lyrics, I, I, I don't 100% connect with it. Uh, so many things are being spoken about. But yeah, it, it isn't bad. It isn't bad.